So I have a sample of Aerogel in this <gasps> office. Really? Yes. I have never touched a sample of You've Aerogel touched in my Aerogel? whole life. Really? Always wanted this to. This will be a first for Adam Savage. Dude. It'll be a first for everybody. <laughs> what the hell is Aerogel? <laughs> Aerogel is the most ghost-like solid substance ever spun. And it's like 99.9% .9 air, right? Yes. <gasps> Higher than that. Oh my okay. God. So here it is. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's, 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 I said it's like a ghost. It does look like a okay. ghost. Okay. You brought a tesseract oh down. Hang on, hang on. No way. Hang on. Way. Okay. <gasps> look at that. Oh my. Okay, that is one of the coolest things I've it ever is like seen. It's like a ghost. My it okay. is. It's actually, it's actually solid. Mm -hmm. right? it's, not, it's not flexible. Right. It, it's, and it's very brittle. It is science cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat it, Chuck. <laughs> Come here, ready? Whoa. That is aerogel. Look no, at that. That's. Oh my God. I can feel that it's. So you can pick it up. <gasps> I trust you. It's like a ghost. Look at that. It might be the lowest density solid stuff ever. And it's used for NASA. And the aerogel is a. Oh, it has many applications. One of the ones that we care most about is you put that on a spacecraft, on a, on a space probe, and as it flies through a comet's tail, mm -hmm. particles of the comet enter the gel and it slowly stops it so that it's intact by the time you bring it back and then analyze it. It also has highly insulating properties. It's like the most one of the most insulating things ever known. And the way they make it, they have some polymer um, chain that they spin up and it's this solid thing but then they evaporate all the liquid. And what's left are the molecules that flesh out the volume that the liquid once occupied. 